So I got up kinda early this morning, and around 6 a.m. my time, that's midnight Eastern, I opened my computer and was instantly greeted by the following Facebook post by portrait photographer Danny Diamond. I'm leaving the internet until that vomit-colored dress dies. My thoughts instantly were, oh crap, what happened? I pretty much just googled dress and instantly found the BuzzFeed article that was able to brief me on what went down while I was asleep. So long story short, despite everything going on in the world, the internet has spent the last 24 hours going head over heels over a dress. This dress. It is likely the biggest internet craze of the year thus far, and it has become known by some as Dressgate 2015. Tumblr user Swiked uploaded the picture with the controversial caption, is this dress white and gold or blue and black? The deal is that different people look at this photo and see different colors. That being said, perhaps a better question would be, what colors do you see? Because believe it or not, this dress is actually out there, and it does contain two set colors that won't change based on your opinion. Actually, now that I think of it, it'll probably end up getting auctioned off on eBay for tens of thousands of dollars. Now, in the white and gold versus blue and black debate, two-thirds of those who participated in the BuzzFeed poll stated that the dress is white and gold. It seems more likely, however, that the dress is in fact blue and black, seeing as Roman Originals, the manufacturer of the dress, does not produce a white and gold variant. I personally have formed my own camp. I am of the baby powder blue and cardboard puke conviction. Those are the colors I see. And that's what this is ultimately all about, how each of us sees the dress. And it's not about monitor calibration. Large groups of people have viewed the same image on the same screen and still people see different colors. Some people have even reported looking away from the screen and then looking back at it a couple seconds later and seeing the opposite of what they saw earlier. One thing I think I can logically conclude is that if we saw this dress in person, there would be no debate. If it were black and blue per the picture on their website, it would be completely obvious in real life. It would be just as obvious if it were really white and gold. Ultimately, I think the culprit here is the camera that took this picture. Whether the dress is actually one set of colors or the other, the camera did a great job of screwing up the light and color to the point that we fight over it on the internet all over the world for 24 hours straight. And counting. Phone cameras can do some pretty wacky stuff to an image, especially if put in auto or quote unquote smart scene modes. And this is a great example of that. It doesn't help that the image can be color corrected to look more convincingly white or gold or blue and black. Now all that being said, there is actual science behind why different people see different colors. It's become such a popular issue, I, I, it feels really weird calling this an issue, but it's become so popular that if he hasn't already, I'm sure Bill Nude, the science dude, will open his mouth about it. But you know what? To heck with science. I'm going to do a simple, hands-on test to show you that in this photo, the dress is neither blue and black nor white and gold. Now before we go and look at the dress itself, I just want to talk about this. Because this is, this is one of BuzzFeed's explanations for Dressgate. Um, You've probably seen a diagram, a structure like this before. The deal is that A and B, the A square and the B square, are actually the same color. So if I just take this color right here, hold on, let me open a new layer. If I take this color right here, as you can see, I'm painting with this exact color. As I draw a line down here, it fades right in. See, they're the same color. This square and this square are the exact same color. And somehow that is supposed to explain dress gate. Well, let's give, let's give the dress similar treatment. Well, here it is, the dress itself, and as we've mentioned, and as everybody knows, there are really two main parties in this debate. There's the white and gold side of the argument, and there are those of the black and blue persuasion. So, let's just do a little test here. All right, I'm gonna make a white square, and you will know this is white. Here, let me expand the, uh, expand the canvas out a little bit. All right, here, now we've got a little bit of space to work with. So, I'm just gonna make a white square, uh, there we go. And I'm gonna take this white square and I'm gonna move it over what people are saying is white. Look at that. Some people are saying that this, this, this stuff right here, which I'm sure to every one of you clearly looks blue now, if you thought it looked white, it, it's clearly not white or anywhere close. In fact, we can pull up a little bit of this color and just slap it right there so you can see. This is the difference between this color that some people are saying are white and actual white. It should be clear as day now. 
And honestly, if this looks like gold to you, you have really low standards for what gold looks like because it still looks like cardboard to me, sorry. So we've dealt with the, the white and gold guys because that's just not white, it's not, I'm sorry. Now let's deal with the black and blue party because, I mean, this is blue. This is blue right here. We got that part down. So let's let's lay down a little black square right here where people people say this is black. Let's do it. Boom. Is that blending into anybody? Does anybody think, yeah, that's that's definitely black what we're looking at? No, I'm gonna show you the color we're looking at. Up here we have this color. That's clearly not black. Down here, like this is a little bit darker down here. Okay, that's that's getting there, but it's still not. Let's see, how about this color? No. Nope. Okay, look. In conclusion, I am not saying what this dress is or isn't. The colors I'm still seeing are baby powder blue and cardboard puke, but I'm, I know that's not what it is in real life. Just logically based on the information I have, if I had to go one way or the other, I would say it probably is black and blue in real life, but it doesn't look like that in the picture and it certainly does not look like white and gold either. That is not white and that is not black. No, no. Just, just no. All right, that's all I got. There are my two cents on Dressgate 2015. Thank you guys. Sam out.